Hey, this is Sky. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Go check out my website at skyazrael.com for life coaching and mentoring. Let's talk about fallen heroes. How do heroes fall from grace? How do they turn into weaklings? How does someone so strong turn into someone so weak? Maybe you can think of examples of this. One that I can think of off the top of my head just in real life is that red-headed idiot Prince. You know the one, Prince, Prince Harry, or is it Henry? I never know what his damn name is, Prince Harry. And he married, uh, what's her face, Meghan Markle? Is that what her name is? You guys follow this stuff more than me. <laughs> and she ruined him, right? She's a succubus. But it's his own damn fault. And this guy had a role of a hero and maybe in the eyes of his own people, not in my eyes, I'm not a big fan, fan of the royal family. But he was doing all the right things, kind of following in his mother's footsteps with his uh, humanitarian work and he joined the military and he seemed like he was a good possible candidate down the line, of course, but potentially for being king, not anymore. Nobody wants that guy to be king now. <laughs> And he has turned into the biggest victim. He went from hero to victim. And that happens. I can think of probably more Hollywood examples. Of course, there's actors. I don't look at actors as heroes. and use that word loosely. But uh, let's stay within movies and talk about fictional people. Megamind, right? Fell from... Uh, his hero status. Suriman from the Lord of the Rings. Suriman. He was once a good dude and turned into a jerk. Turned into a big old jerk. Harvey Dent, Two-Face from Batman. He was cool at one point. Totally good guy and then turned into a big asshole. Big weirdo. Jean Grey from the X-Men. Remember that? In that movie. She goes nuts turns evil. <laughs> she turned out to be really powerful. Magneto, there's another one, another X-Men reference. The best one though that I think that we all recognize that he was a good dude and he turned evil. He went from hero to victim. Understand that evil is always a victim. Look at the supervillains. Every supervillain is a victim. An angry little victim. Darth Vader, Anakin Skywalker. So, how does a man go from hero to victim? How does it happen? How does this fall from grace happen? How do we create fallen heroes? Well, one way is to be overly attached to your emotions. If you're too attached to your emotions, you will weaken yourself. Another way that you can become a fallen hero, give up your status as hero and become a victim, become the villain, become the weakling. Those are all in the same realm. Never think that villains are strong. You're a fool if you think that villains are strong. You have no idea what it's like to be a villain if you think they're strong. Another way that you can give up your status as hero is to give up on the idea of merit. Where you have to work for what you get. People who work hard get rewards. And you give up on that idea. That's no longer a core value. You start to weaken yourself. You start to be one of these welfare idiots standing in line for free shit. Always looking for that good deal. You're just always searching for something for nothing. Some people are willing to pay full price. Some people are willing to put in the work. I'm willing to get scratched up and bruised up as long as I get the rewards of it. And I recognize that in other people. Another way that a hero can fall to a victim 
that you can be a fallen hero. This is what the red-headed idiot prince did, Prince Harry, is to follow a woman's lead. I know it sounds misogynistic to some of you, but you have to understand the role of man, the patriarchy. I promote the patriarchy. It's worked for thousands and thousands and thousands of years across all species of animals. You start making a woman your god, making the wife the leader of the household. You start following your mother too much. These grown men can't give up their mothers. I know lots of them, little mama's boys at age 45. It'll weaken you every time. Another way that you can be a fallen hero is to chase happiness. When a man starts chasing happiness, he starts saying this crap like, all I want is to be happy. That's your answer to what you want out of life. I just want to be happy. Uh, you're no hero. Happiness isn't a goal. Happiness isn't a thing. You can't chase happiness. You're chasing ghosts. Happiness is a byproduct of other things. Happiness is a byproduct of hard work. Happiness is a byproduct of purpose and meaning. You see, another way that a hero can become a victim is when he gives up on service to others and starts getting too focused on self. Another example of what the red-headed idiot prince did, Prince Harry, the ginger prince, is he joined this cult of self, this Hollywood cult of self. It's all based on comfort, safety, Fulfillment, pleasure, temptation. Heroes turn into victims when they chase desire. When desire overcomes them. When desire becomes their master. Heroes become victims when, instead of working on their weaknesses, instead of strengthening themselves they defend the weakness when you defend weakness you create victims you don't empower people by defending weakness sure we defend people that are weaker than others but when you defend weakness defend the weakness in somebody rather than trying to inspire them into strength You're not a hero, you create victims. Heroes don't create victims. They lift everyone else up around them. They create heroes. It's food for thought. <laughs>